later on in the show. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den Legacy Internet Radio.com. I see the love that we're getting in social media. We see the notes that everybody's putting out there. We appreciate the love. Anybody that wants to call us uh, and hear yourself on the air, because that's why we do the show. We all vain. People like to hear our own voice. That's the only reason why we do the show. 804 Well, that's the reason why I do the show. I like to hear my own <laughs> voice. I go back and listen to it, and I'll be like, yeah, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, 804 Not y'all crack on me. Well, we like picking on you, and the fact that you're the lady in the house, that gives you pick on a bit and it's one of those things you just gotta deal with it you know fight back if you're not gonna fight back then it's kind of a you kind of a you problem we're gonna we're gonna bully you yeah anyway whatever whatever ain't no half step with marcus J. let's keep it moving i got a couple of more that i want to get to big rube i want you in on this one first save that for the rest uh that last story by the way with jicky ricky uh, joe ricky hunley the guy that slapped the baby i got that from cnn uh this next story i'm getting from the new york daily news it's about everybody's favorite National Basketball Association Hall of Famer, Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman is going back to North Korea to visit his friend, director Kim Jong-un, for his birthday. He's also taking a contingent roster of former NBA All-Stars, including Kenny Anderson, Vin Baker, Cliff Robinson, former New York Knicks, whose name I will never, ever, ever for the history of my life say again. If you know me, you know who that is. They are going to... North Korea to play in a game, and they're also doing some, uh, some uh, I guess, some coaching or whatever with the North Koreans. But the reason why he's going over there, I ain't tripping off of that. The fact that he seems to have this odd kind of relationship with one of the most controversial heads of state in the world. I mean, it's a dude that just executed his uncle like two months ago, uh, which he had his reasons, but the fact of the matter is he executed his uncle. Uh, and Dennis Rodman says things like he ain't so bad. And, you know, you got the former governor of New Mexico, Bill Richardson, who is one of our ambassadors, who is, 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 is very steadfast in the fact that uh, they're trying to exploit Dennis Rodman and any American who will come there and say positive things about them when we know they're standing in the world. There's an American hostage that's been over there for over a year, and while he, Dennis Robin, of course, is over there, you would think that he would take the time to sit down with his friend, air quotes, and maybe do some diplomacy here, which he has since refused to do. Uh, so let me ask you, Ruben, first, do you think he should do some diplomacy, or do you think that you know his relationship with this fella is... Uh, appropriate? Is it treasonous? Are we tripping even bringing this up or what? I personally could care less about Dennis Rodman. The fact that he even took NBA players over there, most of which are, hmm, that's a good word to say, inconsequential. Um, I, you know, I think that bothers everybody more than it bothers me. I could give a crap to be perfectly honest. I don't, I don't care because when it's all said and done, Dennis Rodman's going to do what Dennis Rodman wants to do. And that's perfectly fine with me. Unless he, like, blows up America or something. I'm, I don't care. Yep. I, I think everybody, I think everybody, you know, if he wants to be, if, he, if people want to be friends with, I mean, criminals and stuff, let's just be real. Most of us have a friend who is some sort of criminal in some formal fashion. But we're friends because he, he or she has never done that to us. So, you know, it's hard for me to sit here and and judge this man on, you know, him having a friendship with somebody who we know is a stone cold killer. But honestly, don't we all have friends like that? I mean, you may not maybe something you want to talk about, but there's always one dude or one chick who has done some has done some time or something like that for whatever reason. But you friends with them because they never did you wrong. Okay. That's why what you think about this one. You know, I'm two-sided. If if their friendship is a friendship where Dennis Rodman's opinion really means anything at all, then yeah, maybe he should. You know, I I think he should, especially if, if it has merit. If it has any value whatsoever, then yeah. But then I think... No, I don't. I really don't think he even cares 
I really, I just don't think he even cares. And, and I think maybe if he did say something about it, maybe the friendship that he thinks he has won't be the friendship that he thinks he has. I, I, I'll be honest with you, I think it's pretty clear that he, he, he doesn't care. Mm-hmm. Um, let me, before I give my opinion, let me get a couple of quick comments. And Joy is alluding to the, uh, the baby slapper, thinks that the guy should have gotten more time mm-hmm. because that's a child. I agree, Joy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Michelle is saying, Ruben, that we need to stop messing with SY. And she just got uh, a Thank heart. You. Uh, she got a heart from Joy on that one. So she said Thank they, they, you. They, 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 they agree. Uh, that we should leave SY alone. Mm-hmm. Uh, if they was here, then maybe you know y'all could gang up on us because it would be the three of y'all against us. But since here, y'all ain't here, here, I don't care. Y'all not here, uh-huh, Michelle no, and Joy. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm still here. Pick on I'm S-Y. still here, and you could pick on me, but don't you pick on my friends? Well, whatever, whatever. friends. Right. That's all right. Tell Watch your friends stay out of business. Watch then. It. My business is tell, their tell business. your friends to stay out of <laughs> our business. business if they don't like if business. they don't like what they hear, they know where we at. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm Boom. I think hey, they, hey, Joy and Michelle, I think I think Big Room just challenged y'all. Uh, call us up and talk some trash to us. I mean, why don't they just come on two, in? What? Two eight nine three. Ain't no number air and opportunity. He ain't, ain't saying nothing. Ain't y'all. no half stepping with Marcus Shea, y'all. <laughs> See, they done took it left. See, I'm just picking on he ain't her, nothing, Joy and Michelle, but Ruben over here, boy, he done spoke with his chest out. Look at him. Mm-hmm. There you go. And he now he's hurting. Him. Yeah, now you're hurting. I ain't hurting. Mm-hmm. Ain't no asked that with Mark J. Here's my thing on Dennis Rodman. Um, I think that when you are leaving your country and you go to another country, no matter how fair or right it is, you represent your country. Just like when I leave my house I represent Mother J and Pops J. Mama J represents me when she leaves my house. And you can agree with that or you cannot. You can you know, act accordingly or you cannot. But that is what my mm-hmm. opinion is. You represent where you come from. Mm-hmm. And so when you represent the United States of America, you need to conduct yourself accordingly. So, yeah. If you go to a country that um, by all accounts, and not just because of how our corrupt ass country acts because we know the reality of how we do some terrible Shady stuff things. here as well but it's pretty common knowledge that they do some real crazy stuff mm-hmm. in north korea their their closest neighbor <laughs> don't even they split their own country in half because they wild out let's 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 keep it real here and so when you go there and you say i you say things like i don't think he's that bad when they've got a murderous regime over there i think it speaks to how easily you can be manipulated. Mm-hmm. And this friendship that you so-called have, I don't understand the merit or the necessity mm-hmm. of it. It's not for me to understand. It's between you and your buddy Kim, but I just think that it's suspect. But like Ruben said, I mean, you got to consider who we're dealing with. We are dealing with Dennis Rodman, mm-hmm. and so there's some issues with credibility there, um, which is understandable, but I just think that it's suspect. And at minimum, if there's an opportunity for diplomacy, I think that it at least should be it's attempted. Attempting. It should be attempted. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Keeping it moving right here. This is the last one that I want to get into here in the What the Hell segment. And uh, anybody who wants to get in with us tonight, 804-402-2893 is the number to dial. Uh, the next and last story that I want to get into tonight is the story about Jay-Z and Beyonce. Uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce, uh, about a week ago, they were performing, well, Jay-Z performed in Atlanta, and at the end of that show, they went to a nightclub, as is customary, and they they bought out the bar, $100,000, $100,000 in the bar. They dropped buying drinks for everybody and VIP and probably everybody, they could have bought the bar for $100,000, but the report is they spent $100,000 thousand dollars in one night in a bar now anybody that knows me knows that everything comes back to a social issue and so before i even say anything on this one that's why i want your opinion uh uh about this um i i don't even really think it needs any more setup than that uh it you know it, the story kind of is what it is at a club called rain on friday night um, in Atlanta, apparently they had Jermaine Dupri and Bow Wow, Dream, Trey Songs, 
uh, you know, in in the building with them. You know, I don't know that the who's who that was there is, is relevant, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I figured I'd mention it because because it's here in the article that I'm getting here, also from the New York Daily News. So, what's your thoughts? Hundred K in a nightclub in one must night must be nice. Must be nice to waste money like that. It, it's just a complete waste of funds. What That's you think about this, Big Root? 100K. What's wrong with your face? He's making a face at you right now. Who are you to tell them what they do with their I money? I tell them what to I do mean, with how their you, money. How are you going to sit here and be like, it's a waste of money? It how you gonna a waste of money. For who? Because they ain't give it to you? My Man, that dude, you, do, you that dude can do whatever he wants for what he makes. I heard the question. And, and that is what I And think. I'm trying to figure out how you figure it's a waste. Um, there are a hell of a lot of things you could do with $100,000. You okay. can feed some hungry freaking kids. Uh huh. You can put some clothes on somebody's back. Uh huh. Um, making a bunch of alcoholics is not on my list of things to do with $100,000. Well, I mean, that, and that's fine for you. But you can't sit here and say the man's wasted his money. That's my opinion. But, uh, and, and but your that. opinion doesn't have valid. It didn't say whether it would stop him from doing it or not. The question was, what do I think? And that was my thought. Now, you're the one that's having a problem with the thought. Well, no, I mean, I think it's, I think it's kind of selfish. I mean. But that's the same thing she said. Well, no, no. I think you know it's what? kind of selfish on her end. Because my thing is, look. What the Hades? What? Because it's real. If you got $100,000, I'm not going to sit here and get mad at you because you went and bought yourself a new house or something. So no. how are you going to sit here? Hold on. How are you going to sit here and say somebody else wasted money when they just got money? And whatever you can sit here and bring it to a social issue all you want, talking about they could have fed a lot of kids, they could have made some homes. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's that's all well and good, but if you're telling me that if you had a whole bunch of money and you're not gonna buy what you want to buy, how is that different from from them? No, 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 that wasn't the question, and I ain't mad. It must be nice, like I said. Yeah. It must be nice because in order for me to drop a hundred thousand uh -huh. on some alcohol uh -huh. or any other nonsense, I really got bank. But I'm saying, you do. but I but, don't. It must be nice. But you just called it nonsense. I, I think mean, it's a waste. I do. That is my opinion. That ain't gonna change. It is my opinion. I don't. I, I guess my thing is, you know, we we as regular people. Waste a lot of money on whatever. So how can we hold on? How can we sit here and have the nerve to say that somebody else wasted their money just because just because there are more zeros on the back of it? That doesn't make it any different. Yes, it, that, that's exactly you know what, what makes it different. I will not go to Walmart so, and, and spend that's, three dollars on wasted That's exactly that's exactly what makes it different. So I, I'm gonna get in here because. Yeah, come on, get in. You're annoying the shit. Can I disagree? You're annoying the shit. So your opinion right here's of the, the whole deal. thing was me. Here's the really. deal. Couple, couple comments. I'm gonna get in real quick, and then we'll Never you and I are gonna battle here. Um, Michelle Let's says Dennis Rodman's in his own little world. It's true. She's also saying that she agrees that uh, her and Joy got your back. That's why. Thank uh, you. And she's going, yeah, 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 to you, Ruben. Uh, I think we all know hmm. what yeah, yeah, yeah means. Uh, and then uh, Michelle continues by saying, and she's moving on to Jay-Z and Beyonce here, saying it's a waste of money. Ma money makes people do stupid things. Uh -huh. uh, Priscilla's listening to us. What's up, girl? Uh, she says that 100K, what's that to them? It's nothing. Mm -hmm. Here's my deal. And yes, I feel like you took a shot at me when you said that everything ain't a social issue. Yes, it is. Because with me, it is. We cannot sit here and say and compare ourselves that you know when we make five digits when we make five digits and these people are making six seven eight and in some cases nine digits you can't sit here and tell me that it is that is the same one two when you come from the marcy projects in brooklyn new york and you've seen all the things that you've seen and you've done all the things that you've done and I think we know what we're alluding to as you've had your hand in the negative cycle of black men in this country. The least you can do is publicly show that you are doing some things to uplift some folks. If all we see is you dropping 100K in a club to get drunk, that's crazy to me, especially when you got your wife, Beyonce, when you got all of these sisters singing this song, Drunk in Love, and yeah, I heard it too. It's a nice song. It's all romantic and sweet and all that crap. I get it, right? You got all of these people who's blowing up social media because she drops a record in the middle of the night and no promotion, and it goes platinum and 
50 countries and all that kind of stuff. I get all of that too. What's she doing for the community? Because all these people that made her the number one selling artist <laughs> in all these countries, <laughs> they spending their last to buy her record. Yeah. So how is she, how is she giving back? How is she telling them thank you other than posting pictures of a funny looking kid on Instagram? I mean, really? <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of seeing these pictures of the three of them mm -hmm. on Instagram and everybody telling me how cute they are. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of it. Mm -mm. I'm sick of it. Show me how cute they are in the soup kitchen. Show me that. So when we say, when we see them drop 100K in a club, but we ain't ever seen them do nothing for nobody. We talked about this with Michael Jordan a couple of weeks ago with all of these kids going crazy and shooting and killing and fighting over his sneaker. And, and what's he doing for these people? Now you can give me the argument on, as you did that night, maybe they're doing things like Kobe's doing things and it's undercover and all that kind of stuff. No, I'm not undercover about buying your record. I'm not undercover about buying your sneaker. If I could be out front buying your record and buying your sneaker, you can show me you appreciate it by doing something public. Mm -hmm. To that, you say what? I say that, remember a couple months ago, we had a discussion about the Jay-Z and Barney situation in which his clothing line that sold at Barney's, that he oh. kept going, made over $100 million for the Sean Carter Foundation. So, yeah, Jay-Z doesn't do anything. I mean, you sit here and we want to, and we want to, put these people on a pedestal and then say they don't do anything. This man just made a hundred, excuse me, a million dollars for the foundation that's gonna help some kids who normally couldn't go to school go to school. That's and I'm good. not and I'm not I'm saying glad to see that. But you know and I'm not sitting here saying that, you know, it's wasteful or whatever. To me, I give a rest, man, it's his money. He can do what he wanna do. For us to call it wasteful, how can we sit here and call somebody else what they're doing with their money wasteful? Easy. I mean, you we can't can hold on, opinion, hold on. Of you can, can, you can, but you know what that sounds like? Sounds like you're hating. That's exactly what it sounds like. Nah, and and that and, and you can disagree with all you want I do. because that pride in you doesn't see the hate that comes out. Because real talk, I could care less if they sat here and bought a ten million dollar mansion. Because you know what, they made that money. They worked hard for that money for whatever, however you choose to say it. But it is. And they can spend their money any way they choose. I'm not going to sit here and put these people on the cross because they make a lot of money. And we can sit here and say, well, they don't do anything for the community. Well, there's some people who do do stuff for the community. You know? And, you and know you when, can just you know be, you can just be mad at Well, I, I, don't, I don't view it as hating. And that's fine if you think so. Yeah, we'll that's agree, what it sounds we'll, like. We'll agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. That's fine. We'll we agree can agree to disagree, we'll disagree, all disagree on that. Particularly when these haters myself and whoever else are the same group of people who are the ones that are filling these people's pockets now not me i'm getting a call that's that noise that you're hearing we're getting a call we got new phone system so uh right. with this new phone system y'all people on the outside can hear people calling us so we got a call on the live line i got a sneaky suspicion i know who this person is but i'm gonna allow him to introduce himself for the first time in 2014 my brother what's going on man hey. Peace, 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 peace. Uh, you know, I have Stephen Crew, everybody out there. Uh, it's your man, K-Dog. Um, happy New Year, bro. Jump in. Yeah, Happy New Year to everybody, man. Um, I wanted to jump in and uh, talk about uh, the whole Jay-Z and um, that type of, that, that situation. I think that um, we, when we critique individuals as far as celebrities, athletes, so on and so forth, when we critique them in regards to their standard habits, that I believe is a little bit it's a little bit of both sides and follow where I'm going with this. It's a little bit of yes, I understand where you're coming from, Marcus J in regards to, you know, giving back to the community and so on and so forth. But when these celebrities, athletes and so on and so forth, people that we look up to, when they do do things for the community and giving back, that doesn't make the uh that doesn't make the, the top 10 list on ABC, CNN, TMZ, so on and so forth. It's when they do other things outside of that that we're made, that we're made aware of. And what that turns into is us looking at them like, oh, man, how can they spend $100,000 in the club, but they're not doing anything for the community when, I, I, you, just like Big Rube said, you know, uh, things have been done for individuals' foundation. I know I, I'm, I'm familiar. I believe Beyonce has a foundation, and she gives back to young young girls as well. So what I'm just I'm just wanting to say that a lot of times we critique individuals, celebrities, athletes, so on and so forth, and we 
as consumers, we on the outside don't really know 100% of what it is that they really have done which would allow them to go out and spend their money. I'm, I'm personally, I'm one of the individuals that's like, hey, I can't tell you how you should spend your money, even though I do think that once you become a, 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 a person of a certain status, you do have a responsibility. And if you're doing that particular responsibility, then you can spend your money as you well please. So I think that, and to wrap it up, I think that what it is is that we're victims of uh, the media and whoever else that gives us these these articles, these these videos, saying, "Oh man, Jay Z and Beyonce spent a hundred thousand dollars in the club last night," but yet those same outlets are not reporting about their philanthropy, philanthropic things that they do for the community, for uh, different people. So you know, it's a little bit of both sides. That's just my opinion. You take it or leave it. No, I got you. I can dig it. And it's a fair position to take uh, when you lay it out that way, as Big Rube did as well. Uh, but it's difficult. You got you to gotta, you gotta admit the visual of 100K in a nightclub is just very, very, very difficult. And what about the people now, who are in the you, nightclub? Let me ask you this. Let, can I throw something else out there? Now, we are very, we, as I mean, you know, majority of the ain't no half stepping crew uh, probably are under one particular, well, I won't even generalize it. I'll just say it like this. There's a lot of other people out here that don't look like anybody in that studio or me or you that basically do the same thing, but, though, but the, what they do doesn't necessarily get put out there. It's not publicized. And just to give you a quick example, going back to that Dennis Rodman thing um, earlier, I watched CNN today, and they talked about the four. They talked about four of the um, the uh, four people that were going with Dennis Rodman. Do you know that the, the the reporter, when she described each particular individual, again, all of them looking like everybody in that studio as well as me, she went to uh, Cliff Robertson talking about his past um, uh, issues with in the league. They talked about Kenny Anderson who had a DUI, and they talked about there was one other individual as well. The first thing that they did was point out these three individuals and their negative and the things that may have happened to them in their life, lifetime negatively, and not even focusing on you know these these are people that are actually going over to this country and maybe hopefully trying to do something a little different. But again, I'm just speaking toward the media and the way that the media wants you to be mad at what they want you to be mad at, what they want you to be upset and and, and you know raising hell over. Go ahead, Rope. And and also, you know, you say they're not giving back. Let's be real. I spent a hundred thousand dollars in the club. Nobody paid for anything. And you can sit there and laugh at that or make jokes. But you know what? Those people in the club got something back for maybe supporting him or whatever like that. So it's like a drink. you know, hey. But you know what? The club is expensive. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I, I can't roll with you on that. I mean, but you can I, say I, what you want. But yeah. that was if I'm that was his after party, correct for his concert. Yeah, it was an after party for his. So concert. basically, well, guess what, y'all? I was at that concert, and it was that after party was not even um published. Yeah, it wasn't. It was, hey, Dub, let me. It wasn't like yo, Jay Z gonna be at you know such and such. But I mean, that's the, that's beside the point. Hey, I'm Dub, sorry. let me get you to address a comment that uh, one of our listeners has put out here. This is Stephen Sykes of Live and Radio who hosts the show here on Legacy Internet Radio every single Tuesday night from 7 to 9. Uh, he takes issue with your comment because if they were really doing something in the community, then the community overall would have been promoting and telling the world what they're doing. That is his comment. That's not that, necessarily that, true. That's not true. That's not true. Not at all. I mean, that's not true because of the fact that, uh, because of the fact that I, I'll, I'll ask you this question. Um, and again, not talking about Jay-Z or Beyonce, but... There's a number of athletes out here that, that have foundation and they do things for the community. Okay. It doesn't necessarily get on television. Well, let me add, let me get you. Get, 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 put, get publicized. All right, Kato, hold on, hold on, Kato. Hold on, hold on, slow down, Kato, because some of your comments are generating comments in social media. So what I want okay. you to do is address some of the things that they're saying because we need to wrap up the segment. That's cool. Uh, Priscilla is asking, okay. she just needs someone to explain why we put so much importance on celebrities having to give back to the community when it should be the members of the community doing something for themselves. To, Ooh, that, yeah. to that, you say what? To that, I say that that's 100% true. We rely on athletes to do the stuff that we can do. Check this out. It don't cost no money to, um, as an individual, that's not a celebrity, 
It costs no money to go out here. It's Brick City down here. It costs me no money to take a um a cover that I don't I don't use and go give it to a homeless person. It costs me no money to take a plate that I might get from a function or whatever and go ahead and give it to a homeless person. So, and, but we go and we look at celebrities, influential people like that, and we expect them to do some of the things that we as human beings should do automatically. There's a lot of people that follow uh, 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 different religions and whatever, and one of the main aspects of all religions is helping out your fellow man. But yet we sit in the house and we sit on the computer and get mad when we see celebrities not do something that we are able to do ourselves. So I, me personally, I agree yep. with that. Yep. Groovy, you were going to say something? I mean, we talked about this with um, with the dude last year talking about Kobe. You know, when I sat up and looked up Wikipedia, and I could tell all the stuff he did, just because you didn't hear it on TV, that doesn't mean the dude doesn't do anything. And I think it's just offensive for anybody to come out and be like, well, they don't do nothing for the community. How, have you looked it up? Have you went and searched? Because you're right. You were alluding to when we talked about Jim Brown. Exactly. And you can sit here and say, well, they do it for the tax write-off, but they do it. You can do it for whatever reason you choose to do so, but you do it, and that is the point. And the fact that we, I mean, yeah, maybe the word hate was a strong word to use, but when you don't know what people are doing, that's what you sound, that's what you come out sounding like. They come out sounding like you're a hater. I know, I can, I can dig it, but let when me. You have, when you have Beyonce, who's, I'm, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not able to look up, but I'm quite sure she has a foundation. I believe Rue spoke about, uh, Jay-Z having a foundation. These particular foundations probably more than likely, and again, I apologize, I don't have uh, readily available information in front of me. I'm quite sure these organizations or these foundations have done things for their community or what the, or what the foundations were set up to do. I'm quite sure that they're doing that, you know, but again, that just goes to show that the media doesn't talk about that. All right, let me, we let have me, to let go the, find that out. But let, let me stop you because I want to sit down and watch TV, and they would be like, "Yo, Beyonce spent that. I mean, they spent a hundred thousand dollars. So what? Let me, okay. let me, let me, let me stop you because we need to. Let me, to the club. let me stop you because we need to move on. But let me just, let me just say this. Uh, one hundred percent agree with the point that Priscilla made about people needing to take ownership and do things for themselves. Uh, and 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 this is coming from someone who's done it. I've been there and I've done that. Uh, but I do think, I do strongly think that people who come from the community need to aid that community, whether that be someone that makes five digits or someone that makes ten digits. And I think that it's important that these people do something visibly, particularly people in the public eye who's whole career and their whole wealth is built on the backs of those same people that may need something for them. So I do remain I, I do remain steadfast on that one. Last comment real quick, Doug, but we need to move on. Yeah, I just want to say, check this out. Um, let's say, let's say that, let's, I'm being, um, let's say Jay-Z goes out there and gives out dinners in, in uh, Marcy or whatever like that. Does, that. does that give him the opportunity or does that give him the right to, when he does a concert, to go somewhere and spend a, and drop a hundred K? Does that still justify it? Say that one I mean, more say, say, say that what one I'm, more what time. What I'm basically saying is that let's say that uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z or any celebrity or anybody like that, they do their philanthropic duty. Okay. Will that take the light off of them if we hear another report, if we hear a report saying, yo, you know, such and such was in the club and they spent, they dropped a hundred K in the club. We probably would still as fickled as we are and as, as, as much as we like to critique everyone, even if they did that, I would say nine times out of 10, we would still critique them because they went out and, and dropped a hundred K. Yeah, I, I could, I could agree. Or disagree. I, I, no, I agree with that. I'm, we're, we're getting one more comment from Steven Sykes and live and radio. Uh, he says, look at what Paul Robeson, Ron O'Neill, and others have opened up schools, educational programs, Alvin Ailey. Uh, if they had the same type of attitude, then they wouldn't have had anything. Look at people like Richard Pryor, employee Jay Leno, who helped our senior hall. It's all about giving back. We have to work together. That's why we're going backwards versus forwards, uh, which I think there's some merit to that comment as well. Uh, but we just we just need to move on. Ain't no how step with Marcus J. Dub. Thank you for the insight. Always got some good insight. Hey, man. I appreciate it, man. Everybody, um, happy New Year's and all that good stuff from T. Hunt. Holla at me, baby. I got you. Yeah, right, we gonna help. We gonna holla at you soon, man. Ain't no how stepping with Marcus J. We're gonna take our first break of the night, and when we come back, S. Y. is gonna make us wise. Marcus J. K. Dub. S. Y. Big rule in the crew and social media. Ain't no how to step Marcus J. Live from the Den Legacy in that radio. Be back in a minute.